old school vibes. Oh rien, je regarde les news sur les vélos. Oh tu vois, bah ouais bah, ouais, ça fait pas. Et euh, tu vois là les nouveaux étudiants de descente et tout. Voilà quoi. Ouais, histoire de, de se documenter un petit peu sur la discipline. Voilà, les, les championnats. Là c'est en Suisse, tu vois. Enfin, non. Euh, euh, non attends. Hop. Ah, non. Bah, hop. Bah, non. Passe. Ah <rire> So MXGP of uh, Switzerland, we are here in Fravenfeld and uh, yeah, track was looking decent yesterday. Still a little bit grass on the track, but uh, yeah, once the 125s and uh, MX 250s have uh, ridden, probably it will be super when we enter, so looking forward to it. It's uh, Saturday here and uh, yeah, just excited to uh, go on the track. I'm feeling much better than Arnhem last weekend. It's nice waking up and not feeling any sick. Still a little bit like slimy in my throat, but at least my energy is fully back my heart rate in the morning is good and uh, yeah i'm ready to tackle another weekend of racing so uh, four gps left so the season is coming to an end but i want to finish off strongly here i just recently announced on my uh, social media that i resigned with the honda sr team so uh, very happy with that also the team to team ship to cycle honda moto blues sr team in full length name. So very happy to do that and continue with those guys for another year. I think that's the best effort for me to continue progressing and not having too much change and know what is working. And we can just uh, build from here like the small things instead of going to a whole new team and basically starting all over. So uh, I think this is the best uh, option for me, opportunity. And uh, yeah, really excited to be going another year with those guys. So uh, yeah, just having some breakfast right now and getting ready for uh, Saturday qualifying day here in Frauenfeld, MSGP of Switzerland. So let's go. Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing Tired of living like a blind man I'm sick of sight without a sense of feeling And this is how you remind me This is how you remind me Some lunch after free practice, P9, so was feeling good out there. Hopefully can carry that on to the time practice coming up later. Just need to get some energy now and then we are ready.
time practice was decent in a 13th position. Maybe not what I was aiming for, but I was feeling great out there. So I had a good feeling going into the qualifying moto and I managed to line up on the inside. So yeah, let's have a good qualifying race. Sunday, race day, and uh, yeah, yesterday was uh, not too bad. Slowly made my way up the field with some crashes and also passing some riders. So yeah, the riding was good and uh, I just felt that it was so hot yesterday. So my legs was kind of burning almost. Today, this morning, woke up to some rain and it's going to be like 20 degrees. So a lot better temperature for riding and uh, hopefully we'll have a good day. For sure the track will be completely different today after the uh, overnight rain but uh, yeah let's just uh, go out for warm up now in the morning and uh, have a good time. So also. So just watching MX2 race 1, getting myself ready for race 1 as well. Uh, was out there for warm up and the track was very difficult after an overnight rain. Just one line but they cleaned most of the track now so I think uh, it will be good for the race. But uh, yeah I was feeling great out there and uh, actually had the second best lap time. 0 0.2 away from being the fastest so the best warm-up of the season I think but uh, unfortunately uh, it doesn't matter at all what I do in the warm-up so just going to carry the good uh, feeling into the moto now and uh, let's go
race one is done and uh, got off to a bad start. I spun off the gate and uh, had to come from really far behind, like 20, 21, I don't know, to 12th. And then uh, I was trying to pass Fernandes, but uh, yeah, our lines came together. I tried to go around the outside and didn't expect our lines to come together. And I just rammed into him actually. And uh, our bikes were stuck, so... Yeah, I lost a lot of uh, time there, maybe 15, 20 seconds. And uh, yeah, I had to work from uh, 16th position again. I had to catch up to the guys and got up to uh, 11th place when I ran out of tier off with tier three laps to go at 28 tier off zone. But uh, yeah, it was brutal conditions and uh, having to lay in the wheel of other riders all the time didn't exactly help me. But uh, anyway, it was a decent race, my speed was good and uh, looking forward to race two now. So let's go get changed and go for race two. Race two, getting off to a much better start, much needed, but uh, got run a little bit wide and uh, yeah, dropped from like maybe a fifth position going into the corner to a uh, 12th on the first lap. Then had to work my way up the field, but uh, track had dried up a little bit and it was much faster than in the first race, but I felt like I was riding good, just everybody had so much intensity the first first uh, 10 minutes of the moto, so it was hard actually gaining time. Then I started to ride better and better, and uh, in the middle there I had a solid uh, battle with Bonacosi and Fernandes. I felt like I was together with them every moto almost. But yeah, I got uh, past them and up to a ninth position. Then towards the end, I closed up to Golnov every lap. I was pushing really hard and uh, yeah, he crashed and something happened with the bike. I don't know, but he couldn't continue. And uh, yeah, that made me into eighth position. So overall for a day, eight with uh, eight in the second race and 11th in the first race. So decent day, but I know that I can do a lot better. Still uh, need to be happy with that, with uh, those starts and coming from behind every moto. and. Uh, yeah, just need to look forward 
I uh, did manage to get any training done this week and uh, and then uh, before Turkey the next one we will have a lot of good training so uh, that will be a good thing and then uh, yeah I'm looking forward to the next GP so hope you guys have enjoyed the video and until next time full gas so see you guys soon ciao ciao